we intend to plow up a paddock, but step one is getting the tractor ready. Because I'm not going to be doing the lawns, I'm actually going to be using the plow. I'm actually going to be filling these tyres up with water, front and back, because if the, you don't have any weight in the front tyres and you go around the corner, it can actually flick quite quite uh, sporadically. So a bit of weight in front tyres actually it's, just makes it safe to drive. And also I'm going to fill these tyres here up to about 70 to 80% full of water to help pull the plough through the um, through the dirt and that you should actually see quite a big improvement plenty of air in the tyres you can move quite faster but you've got very little torque on the ground and so when you're filling these up these should be about 30 to 35 pounds psi when they're filled with water these ones I've been told between 12 to 20 about 15 pounds is what I'm going to put it so I'm going to fill it 70 percent up with water to 80 percent full of water to about there and then I'm going to put a pressure of about 15 psi in it I've got I've made this contraption this is a capillary tube off a fridge unit that I've cut in half you see it's got an attachment there I've put it onto a tap I just stick this through into the uh, through take out the valve stick this in through the neck and just turn on. Unfortunately it still takes a couple of hours to fill up the tyre and we'll show you the how you know when the water level is correct, won't we? Normally I'd just use a bottle jack to jack this up but it's day one of the uh, coronavirus lockdown and my three tonne bottle jack is just itself so I'm going to have to use the car jack. Language. Sorry, broken. It is <laughs> unexplicably broken. So if you think, gee, he's not using the right jack for the job, the reason is I did have the right jack for the job, but it's broken. Which just makes life that much more awkward. Doesn't it, boy? Nice. Yeah, like that. Oops. <laughs> we can edit that part out. We can. Spin. Right. So that is about 70% there. So that is where I'm going to fill my water level up to. A prox. Trotocore remover. Now, if you are actually living in a place where it snows and it gets below minus 18, you might actually want to fill these tyres up with um, water and antifreeze, or salt water or sugar water, depending on you know what's right for you. I don't know. I just use water because it's basic. I'm a clay farmer. Aston, can you grab me the fill up a device over? And don't point it at mum. Thank you very much for holding that. Thank you very much. Right, this is it. Ooh. This, this is my water filling device. Slip in. And you can hear the air hissing out as water's going in. See? If you come around here, you can actually hear the stream hitting the side wall of the tyre. Yeah. I can hear it. If you can't hear it in YouTube then, you just have to believe us. <laughs> right. It will probably take three hours, and this tyre will be ready. Right, you can hear it again filling up. It's been filling up for a fair few hours now. It's taken longer than that one, because I think the... There you go, she's full. <laughs> Let's 
spin it around. So that's the wall level there, which is about where we want it. So I'll just let you hold on to this since the current holder of the thing is inside building a fort. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that sounds like <laughs> a look. Sarah. <laughs> so wrong. I might just turn this around so I can get bubbling through the water. There you go, I've got just under one bar or 12 psi of pressure in those tyres now for the so we should be able to start playing. Let's look around here, much of there's no water coming out. 